Good day. We will be discussing the topic of measures of dispersion. The difference between a single data point x and the mean x bar is called the deviation from the mean or simply deviation. Okay. For an example of this data set, 6, 10, 12, 12, 11, 17, and 9, the mean of this set is 11. Now, for the first division, division 1, that is 6 minus the mean, which is 11, that is equivalent to negative 5. And the division 2 is 10 minus 11 or negative 1, and so on. If we add all the deviations, Uh, the sum of the deviations is equivalent to zero. Okay, so again, deviation means it is the difference from the mean of a sample data set. And the sum of all the deviations in a data set is equivalent to zero. <clears throat> sample variance deviation. Given a sample n data points, x1, x2, up to xn, the variance of the data denoted by s squared is equivalent to summation of x minus x bar squared over n minus 1. So this is how to solve the variance. This is the equation. Variance is equivalent to summation of x minus x bar squared over n minus 1. And the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance and is denoted by the variable s. So that is the standard deviation. For example, let's find the standard deviation of each data set. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Now the solution, let's find first the mean. The mean for letter A is 7. And the variance is in this form, the first term minus the mean squared plus the second term minus the mean squared plus the third minus the mean quantity squared and so on divided by 6 minus 1 which is n minus 1. And therefore, our variance is 14 and our standard deviation is equivalent to 3.741657 which is the square root of 14. Now for letter B, the mean is 107 and the variance is 14 and the standard deviation is 3.74. If we compare, they have identical variance and standard deviation but they have a very different data set so it means um different data sets can have the same variance and standard deviation variance and standard deviation are called measures of dispersion because they gave us information about the spread of the data so they measure and they identify how spread the data is on a sample data set. Larger standard deviation means that data are more spread out. Sets with lower standard deviation contains data that are more consistent. Okay, so that is uh, the definition or the, mini the meaning of a uh, low standard deviation. That means the data is more consistent compared to a higher standard deviation. This is an example of a comparison of the scores for each superstars for the last NBA Finals. These are their scores per game. Kawhi Leonard has 22, 26, 36, 30, 34, and 23. While Steph Curry has 34, 23, 47, 27, 31, and 21. Now let's solve their mean 
variance, and standard deviations. Right there. So the mean scores or the mean points per game is 28.5 for Leonard and 30.5 for Curry. That means Curry averages more points than Leonard. This is the variance and this is the standard deviation. So what uh, can you observe between their standard deviations? Why Leonard has a smaller standard deviation compared to Curry? Therefore, we can conclude that the scoring of Leonard is more consistent compared to Curry's scoring because Curry has a larger standard deviation of 9.42. That is one way to compare the how dispersed or how scattered the data are in a data set. Alternative formula for sample variance. Given a sample of n data points, x1, x2, up to xn, the variance of the data denoted by s squared can be found by s squared is equivalent to 1 over n minus 1 quantity times summation of x squared minus summation of x quantity squared over n. So this is the alternative. Hmm. Alternative alternative formula for the sample variance. And this is the formula for sample variance for group data. Okay? So x here is the midpoint of the group, where f is the frequency, n is the summation of all the frequencies. Example, to study the output of a machine that fills boxes with cereal, a quality control engineer weighed 150 boxes of brand X cereal. The frequency distribution is shown below summarizes his findings. Find the mean weight of the boxes of cereals. Okay. So that is the mean weight of the boxes of cereals. And these are some exercises uh, for you to do at home. Find the mean and the standard deviation of each set of data. So all you have to do is to get familiarized with the formula for the mean, median, and also the standard deviation and variance. And these are the answers for these exercises for your reference.